Hey friends, if games are not working on your Windows 11 computer, then please watch this video. I will guide you to the resolutions. Now, before anything else, we need to make sure that our system has sufficient requ uh, system requirements for the game. For example, I play Valorant. Now, when I play Valorant, you must have noticed that uh, it has some minimum system requirements. So, for example, it needs an i3 processor, 4GB RAM, 1GB VRAM, etc, etc. And if you try playing Valorant with these specifications, it will keep hanging. So, uh, you need much higher specifications. For example, you need 8GB RAM. You need at least an i5 or i7 processor and at least 2GB of VRAM. Now, this is one part to it. The second one is that it should also be running in compatibility mode. It should be compatible with your system. So if it's not compatible, uh, assume this is a game. I know it's not a game, but I don't have a game. So right click on this one and select options. Go to properties, go to the compatibility tab for the game. Select run this program in compatibility mode for and change it to the latest compatibility setting. Apply. OK and reboot your system. Now these are the first two resolutions. The third resolution will be to reset and repair the game. This has also been mentioned on the Microsoft Answers Forum. Right click on the start button and select settings from the menu. Go to the apps tab on the list on the left hand side. Installed apps in the right pane. Now click on the game, uh, the three dots associated with the game and select advanced options. Scroll down, click on repair, reset and then reset once again. Other than this, you can obviously update the graphics card drivers. So search for device manager in the window search bar and open the device manager window. Expand the list of display adapters, right click and update every graphics card driver, especially the external graphics card driver if you have that. Once this is done, you can also uh, check for that game specific issues. For example, you want you might want to check the server status of Valorant. Okay. In the case of Valorant, if the server is down, we get the VAL42 error. But uh, you can also check it at status.riotgames.com. And it's not just for Valorant, I'm just sharing an example. It would be for many other games. It says no recent issues or events to report. So this means that Valorant is working well. Now, uh, if everything else fails, then the last option will be to uninstall and reinstall the game. Right click on the start button, select settings from the menu. Go to apps, go to installed apps. Now go to the game, select uninstall, uninstall once again and remove the game and then install it on the manufacturer's website. Was this helpful? If yes, then let us know in the comment section of this video. And if not yet, let us know in the comment section of this video so that we could investigate further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.